What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Please consider subscribing. For those of you guys who are like in the community already, hey, share the video. It helps me to grow, okay? If, uh, if you want to, if you care, if you, you know, want to help out, of course, I appreciate it. Hey, today I'm going to answer in this video another question from another sub. So I'm getting a lot of questions lately, so I'm going to answer them. The questions nowadays i train boxing and it's a hell lot of cardio exercise but i love it awesome but i'm a natural wimpy guy i i'm working on putting on some weight you think it's possible with all the cardio workout that a boxer does uh yeah definitely of course it's always possible to put on weight uh to put on muscle mass the thing is it's uh it's gonna be definitely a little bit harder you're gonna have to eat more that's the thing you have to be able to track your calories so if you want to put on mass you have to kind of figure out like what, uh, how much calories you're, um, okay, let me put this in a very simple way, not overcomplicated. Calories in, calories out. If you want to lose weight, you got to burn more calories than you, than you consume. Now, if you want to gain weight, then you have to, you know, eat more calories than you burn. Now, if you want to stay the same, then it's pretty much, uh, you know, the amount of calories you intake and the amount of calories you burn is the same thing. The problem with that is that, well, we don't really know how much calories you need. It's not like a fixed number, it's static. And then it's, uh, it's gonna depend on how much muscle you have, how tall you are, how much physical activity you do. But one way that I always tell people, and this I tell this to my clients, is that you gotta track your weight. Every single day, under the same circumstances, you take your weight in the morning, you know, Take that every morning, average it out at the end of the week, that's gonna give you your average weight. So you compare averages with averages. So week one average versus week two average, and then you're gonna know if you're uh, lose, maintaining, losing, or gaining weight. Once you do that, then after that, you could decide, okay, how much food do I actually need? But you have to track your calories too, that's the thing. So you gotta track your weight, then you gotta track your calories, see how much you're eating, so you could use my fitness pal for that. You track your calories and then from there you compare week to week so then week one you see how much calories you ate how much you weigh and so on and so on and then you make the adjustments necessary after the first two weeks that's when you know like that's when you could start tweaking and manipulating so for you in your case uh, if you're doing a lot of busking i mean you're going to be burning a lot of calories right a lot of cardio involved in that and um, you know, there are long sessions too. If you work out, like I don't know how many, how many times, how many sessions of boxing you do a week, but I mean, the more you move, the more you're gonna burn calories. And then the more muscle you have on you, the more you're gonna burn too. And then if you wanna put on mass, then you're gonna have to eat. So that's why you have to track your calories to know that what you're eating right now, what is it doing? Is, it, is, is what you're eating now making you fat or maintaining your weight or making you lose weight? You don't know that's why you have to track it for the most part i believe you don't bulk like if you eat too much too much of a surplus you're gonna get fat right so you definitely need a caloric surplus to gain weight to gain mass to build muscle but you don't need as much as you think in terms of uh, uh to build muscle but that's for another video but you need, do need to be in a surplus i would say your surplus keep it at like uh two three hundred you know uh 200 i think is fine man because honestly uh, if you, um, if you put it up more than that and it, just because you eat more, doesn't mean muscle takes the time that it takes to build, right? It doesn't just magically appear. We're talking about, uh, depending on, on if you're a newbie or not, but let's say you're assuming you're not a newbie, like every three months you get one pound of lean muscle mass, maybe another extra two pounds, but it's going to be water, glycogen and fat. You see what I mean? You got to be careful with that because being fat will make you heavier but it doesn't won't necessarily tra uh, translate to performance. But anyways, I hope that made sense. And um, it is definitely possible, but you just gotta eat the, you gotta eat more, man. But uh, the way to do it is to really track your shit. If you don't track your shit, then you don't know what the hell is going on. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys could work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. Well, I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.